Hey, Paul. Pleasure to be talking to you. Good afternoon, Rob. Nice to have a chat. Yes, it is, isn't it? It's uh, one of those things. These are lovely events to have, you know, these Wednesday webcasts to get to know people a bit more. So I appreciate you taking your time. Mm. No, no problem at all. You're most welcome. Thanks, all right. for, inviting, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, more than welcome. Right. Just to get things started, we're going to start off with the five quick ones to start. What's your favourite food? I'd like a nice ribeye steak. And how do you like that cooked? Medium, with a little bit of mustard. Uh, what kind of mustard do? Oh, English. Uh, only the one, best one to have, English mustard. Yeah, yeah? Not, this, not this foreign stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favourite film? I, I like James Bond, but I... I'm not into films, never have been. Mm. Um, I pref prefer things on television, uh, such as documentaries and that sort of thing. Mm. But I'm not a film buff at all. So if you're a fan of James Bond, who's your favourite James Bond? Then? Oh, that's a difficult question. I don't mm. really mind. It, it's the action and the, the way they do it. And I think they all vary and all complement one another, really. Yeah, they were all totally different characters, weren't they? Oh, yeah. character-wise, yes, most certainly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, most famous person you've met? That's a difficult one. Uh, would I be name-dropping if I said the Duke of Kent? No, not really. I don't think you would be. I don't <laughs> think many people know him. Yeah. Yeah. No, I met, I met him by chance. Um, at the do of celebration of the was it the three hundredth anniversary, uh, and it was held at the Albert Hall, and uh, then we went to Battersea Park area, and had a lovely meal there. And he came out as he would do to go home, and he came over and shook my hand. He put his hand out to me. I was only too chuffed to shake his hand and enjoy that particular moment. Yeah, that was very strange, because all of us that were sat around the table with you got ignored, right? But you got the handshake. <laughs> yeah. well, we're at the, him and I at the same height, you see. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Yeah. So what did you used to do as a day job? I used I started work as a draftsman for the Greater Lon for, well, the London County Council um, back in the early 60s. Uh, then I progressed from that. I went more into general design. Um, and then I've, I moved on to doing, now I'm doing health and, doing health and safety. Had my own small company um, and did that all over the country. County courts and that sort of thing. Building con construction sites and just general building health and safety. Which I obviously, as you know, I took over into the... Uh, same batch Masonic Hall. Yes, very much so. Yeah. Now, do you have a favourite sporting team? Sporting team? Yeah. I suppose I expect some people would say football, but uh, I'm a boring person. I'm not really interested in football. No, I haven't really got one, to be quite honest. I'm quite open-minded what I watch. You used to play a bit of golf, didn't you? Oh, I play a lot of you, yes, too right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't play that anymore. Mm. My my body won't take it. <laughs> yeah, I think we all get to that stage in life, don't we? Yeah. Well, I think the thing is, it's misleading because I had a health problem, as you know, um, and I was told to take up sports. So I said, okay, that's fine. What do I take up? Golf's very good. So I joined uh, in. Bracknell, Berkshire, I joined the golf club there. And uh, now I'm suffering from it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just overplay it, really. Your, your body uh, overplays it, really. So, can you tell us a little bit about your journey within Freemasonry? Where did you start your Freemasonry? Right, I started Freemasonry in 1977 at St Andrew's Lodge, which was... Uh, 
in Rochester, Kent, right behind the cathedral, Gundolf Square. Um, that's where I started. I was social secretary for quite a considerable time. Uh, I was the uh, ladies' night DC, as you might call it that. Uh, I totally enjoyed that all over Kent, traveling, uh, doing ladies' nights, Toastmaster, etc. Uh, then I uh, gained the chair in 1988, um, which I thoroughly enjoyed at that time. And I think Masonry has slightly changed now to a more positive youngsters uh, institution, if you like to call it that. So that's how I started. Uh, I had a good, very good time there until I moved to Bracknell in Berkshire with, with the company I was working for, which was Cable and Wireless. Um, and I moved there, joined a lodge for six months until the company I was working for, Cable and Wireless, asked me to move um, to Bracknell uh, itself. And I only joined a, a very small uh, lodge for a sh short period of time. And then we, my wife and I moved up to up to here, uh, Sam Batch, uh, and I joined Pender in 2006. A mm -hmm. uh, bit of a gap, but uh, probably you're remembering uh, Max Lees was very kind enough to introduce me into Pender. Um, and I became Worshipful Master in 2011, a long time ago now. Um, then I was asked to take on secretary, uh, which I'm still doing, in 2012. So I'm, I'm having great fun at the moment. And then I became um, assistant soul bearer in 2017 in Cheshire. So, so was that an active acting role within yes, Cheshire? Yes, that, that was an active role, yes. Mm. yes. The sword was heavier than I was. Mm. I know you're not a very tall person, so I'm assuming that the sword's about as tall as you is. Is that right? With with respect, Rob, I did say it was taller than me and heavier. <laughs> 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 yes, I got to carry it once at one uh, one uh, ceremony uh, mm. for a short time. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it was very enjoyable, very enjoyable. Yeah. And then. Uh, down in Kent, when I was in Kent, I joined Chapter, um, which I obviously I enjoyed. And then I transferred that uh, up to Sandbatch. Um, and I became first principal in 2016. And this year, uh, I've been Provincial Assistant Grand Director of Ceremonies, acting. And that was this year, which I'm very, very proud of, chuffed a bit. So uh, I've had a very lucky and eventful, eventful career in Freemasonry. Mm. So <clears throat> within the, the Royal Arch, are you just saying that you've got another actor and all that? That's correct, yes. Huh? So when does that actually season start for when, when you're out and about within the province of Cheshire? It started, started in March. It's March to March. Mm. So have you got many things booked in and many things you're looking forward to? Not at the moment. I've got, I've got one this evening, uh, which would be rather nice. The uh, deputy will be there and quite a few other Masons that I've known from the past uh, will be there. So I'm rather looking forward to that tonight. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'll just wait to see how things come up and what comes up. And I shall take advantage of it as much as I possibly can. Now, obviously, you've been in Freemasonry a number of years. You must have seen lots of changes. Yeah. Yes. I think one, one big change is the, uh, the Hermes. Um, I was very lucky to be invited by the PGM uh, to attend a, a team, if you like, attending province and going through the processes of both uh, craft and chapter. Uh, to help them assist in developing the system down at Grand Lodge. Uh, that's now on trial, as you probably, members probably know. Um, I thought Cheshire was going to get on the trial, but we haven't done so far. But I 
I enjoy doing it because it it makes your mind think. Oh, as a secretary, are you doing the right thing? Is the is the process you're following is it correct? And of course, that's going to be very beneficial to all secretaries, uh, whatever age, qualifications, or whatever they've got. It will certainly help to make things a lot easier by just putting it into a database rather than <clears throat> using a fountain pen and paper to actually log your minutes and that sort of thing. Now, just to refresh, <laughs> sorry, just to refresh my mind, the Hermes is the new software package to aid secretaries and scribees rather than going pen and paper. So we're moving away from paper-based to computer-based. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, most certainly. Yeah. And it, I know they're still working on it from what I've understood. Um, unfortunately, our PGM is, was, is working on it. I presume he's going to carry on working on it, uh, but not necessarily from uh, the Cheshire province. But uh, yes, it should be a lot. If you've got a computer software to cope with it, and um, we're going on train, we'll be invited to go into training courses, it will be a lot easier for secretaries and scribes. So obviously you've spent your time helping that, supporting that, and helping develop it. Mm. Yes. Yeah. What's next for you? I don't know, actually. Um, I think you know me well enough. I will take these things on. Mm. Um, if I'm enjoying it, I'll carry on doing something. I'm very open to, to offers, if that's the right expression. <laughs> you know, I, I enjoy my Freemasonry. Yes, it's got its ups and downs like like every other job you've got. But uh, at the end of the day, I've been building up Pender Lodge now. Uh, like every lodge, has gone down a bit. Uh, we, we're building that up. And I am enjoying doing that. Um, and we just go on from there and build up and bring Main Street back to what it was before the pandemic. So what would you say to any people who were interested in joining Freemasonry or the younger members within Freemasonry, what would be the one message that you would give them? I would suggest that they watch what goes on in, in the temple uh, because you learn, like I did right from the early days, you learn so much uh, even before you go on the floor. Uh, you hear the repetition, you understand. And if you've got any questions, the mentor's there to explain why you're doing that in a particular way um, and just enjoy your masonry you know take part in things I mean we've got to, we've got two young masons they're very keen very interested they want to do this they want to do that and I said right okay you are a young mason you're new to it I'm quite happy happy to help you and guide you through any bits you want to do and that's what we're doing and that encourages the young people to come on board so on that note, just to round this off, we'll go straight into the five to finish. What's been your best holiday? It's Mauritius. It's, my wife and I got married in Mauritius. And absolutely brilliant. The actual wedding was in a big hotel. It's still there. Um, and it's a very good holiday. Very nice indeed. And one thing that most people don't know about you, any hidden talents? Not really. I suppose my hidden talent is health and safety, but <laughs> not, not, not a lot of people want to know what health and safety is all about. Mm. But uh, I think that's that's been my mm. biggest thing that in my business life, is insisting, assisting contractors with health and safety issues. Mm. What have you felt most proud of? What am I proud of? Most proud of? My, my two boys. My two boys. Yeah. Yeah. One lives in Ireland and one's in Bracknell in Berkshire. And they're very professional. Mm. Got good professional jobs. Mm. So I'm very proud of them, of course. And have you got a favourite drink? Um, I have to think about that one. Yes, yeah, scotch, scotch and water, or occasionally a nice red wine. Mm. Particular red wine? Don't mind either red. I, 
enjoy just enjoy red wine. Mm. Cabernet Sauvignon is normally nice select. Mm. Malbec be very nice. Mm. It just depends where I am. And is there anything that you'd wish to ask you that I haven't done? No, I'm quite happy with the with the questions. Mm. I hope you're happy with the answers. <laughs> Very much so, Paul. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated. Thank you, Rob, for inviting me. I do appreciate it. Thank you. And you take care of yourself. Thank you. And All take right. care. Yeah, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.